Got a lot of news to talk about here today. We've got Dynamite tonight. And uh, we have a lot of matches and segments announced. MJF will defend the Dynamite, Dynamite Diamond Ring. I got that right? Dynamite yes. Diamond Ring. You got it. Against Juice Robinson. That will be the opener here tonight. Because MJF only works the opener of the main event. So that means something else must be the main event tonight, obviously. And uh, that would probably be Okada and Orange Cassidy versus Brian Danielson and Claudio Castagnoli. I don't know that for sure. Maybe it'll be the Sting gift, for all I know. Who knows? But we've got uh, Hangman Page and the Young Bucks versus the Hardys and Brother Zay for the six-man titles. Where in God's name have the Bucks been? They just vanished a while ago. Well, now they're back to defend those six-man titles. Hikaru Shida versus Ruby Soho for the AW Women's title. We've got Rob Van Dam teaming with Hook to face John Silver and Alex Reynolds. Tony Khan will have a gift for Sting. Chris Jericho sit-down interview with Renee Paquette. And Swerve Strickland will be doing a promo. couple of notes. First off, if you didn't see the Brian Abinney show last night, which was free on YouTube... Well, I got a gift for our friend, the Emmy Award-winning Sean Garrett, whose birthday was a couple of weeks ago. And if you recall, there was a press conference, an AEW press conference. And what happened was MJF had some choice words, including related to a tweet that I made. And then, I don't know if he felt bad. I doubt he felt bad because he's a despicable human being. But he, he offered to uh, to let me carry his belt. And uh, I said, Sean, go get that guy's belt because he was sitting next to me. And uh, Sean, in fact, got up and he took MGF's belts to the back with him. And he was very happy about it. And I got to thinking that, you know, they had an angle on Raw where Chelsea Green's partner got injured. And uh, who was her partner? Does anyone remember? I've already totally forgotten because they've just destroyed those women's tag team titles. But anyway, her partner was injured. And instead of uh, stripping her of the titles, well, Dewdrop just walked up and grabbed a belt and said that she was now one half of the women's tag team champions. And they let it be official. So I thought, you know... Old MJF's partner, Adam Cole, is hurt. And Sean gained possession of the other Ring of Honor tag team title. So it seemed to me, Sonya Deville was the one injured. Seems to me that Sean Garrett should now officially be considered one half of the Ring of Honor tag team champion. And so I did, in fact, get him a Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship belt, which he is now in possession of. Is Tony Khan going to top that with Sting? I don't think so. But I guess we're going to find out tonight. We're also going to find out that next battle of the belts. MJF and Sean Garrett versus some Ring of Honor team. That better happen. I'll be I pretty can see upset Sean otherwise. matching up well with Bishop Khan, you know. Sure. It's a natural yes. matchup there. Yes. And you know what? That's great for MJF because he's got a lot of people now lined up aiming for him. He's got Wardlow. He's got Samoa Joe. He's got James. Well, I'll White. tell you, he doesn't have to worry about. You don't have to worry about Sean Garrett. Well, hey, he can use Sean Garrett as some sort of deflection there. You know what I'm saying? You know, he was willing to break out the money to get Filthy Tom Lawler in there against Adam Cole. Maybe he can... Look, if Sean's willing to do so many stupid things for you for free, I can imagine if... This MJF was not stupid. Money, he was thrilled. He couldn't he, have been happier. You've had way too many people in your life tell you yes. He could not have been happier. And he couldn't have been happier yesterday either. We'll see if Sting is as happy as Sean was upon receiving his gift. Now, the other thing I want to mention... was weeks ago. This did uh, this did end up uh, on the internet yesterday, I believe, on Cornette's podcast. But uh, it did come out that the person behind all of the Swerve Strickland hangman page, like all of it, is Will Washington. So for those of you that have been wondering, what's Will Washington been doing since he got hired? Well, apparently that entire storyline... And I asked about it, and I guess he's been doing, I think he's been doing, like, 
all those promos back and forth, you know, the promos that they had that everybody thought was great, that uh, that's Will. And obviously him and, uh, him and Swerve are related. I suppose that probably has something to do with it. And uh, I, I don't watch, I haven't watched a lot of uh, BTE, but uh, somebody said that he's also uh, been a regular on BTE. So uh, that's what he's doing. He's doing some creative stuff. So if you like the uh, if you like the Swerve Hangman deal tonight, well, that's who you can credit. And if you don't like it, sucks to be Will. Now he's gonna get it, right? That's how things usually go. <laughs> Speaking, hey, it's been great so far. Area? It's been great so far. No, I get it whether it's my fault or not. Uh, Big difference. Okay. Uh, yes. yes. Big difference. What's what's the view like up there on that cross you hang yourself on? I'm not hung on no cross. I'm just <laughs> hey, there's a difference. I just tell people the truth. Ah, Some yes. people just don't like to hear it. <laughs> it's the the hard truth. Yes. You're the Nathan Frazier. Tell of the me when I'm telling scene. lies. Right. I can't believe that me and Punk aren't like best friends. We have a lot in common, really. Yeah, you do. So anyway, we have Halloween Havoc Night Two next week. I'm going to talk about night one later because I don't care what you uh, you nerds on uh, on Twitch want to say. That show last night was a great show. Oh. Am I wrong? I don't know about great. Dude, that was a great show last night. Dude, all right. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Ilya Dragunov next week versus Carmelo. They did not add Trick, so we'll see what happens there. Dominic Mysterio versus Nathan Frazier for the North American title. Chelsea and Piper Niven versus Thea Hale and JC Jane for the women's tag team titles. I pray to God we get a title change at some point. We've got Kalani, Jordan, and Lola Vice. So they did, in fact, do the expected finale of the women's breakout tournament. We have tables, ladders, and scares. <laughs> Angela and Umberto versus the Creed brothers. What the hell were they wearing? I By the they way, were wearing a, 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 like one of the costumes. Yeah, they're and nerds. They that was their gimmick. They're nerds. <laughs> Braun Breaker versus Mr. Stone and Tiffany Stratton versus Fallon Henley. So I was on uh, the old Insta, as the kids call it. Uh, Instagram. The gram. It's like a telegram, but instant. IG. Yeah. So anyway, there was a uh, little video that one of the Creeds, or maybe it was. Uh, um, What's her name put up? Um, Ivy Nile. Ivy Nile. I don't know who put it up, but I, I scrolled through and I saw it. And it was better than anything at Halloween Havoc. And it was, uh, <laughs> the Creeds are in a gym, okay? And there's one Creed on one side, one Creed on the other side. And what they're doing is they, they put a big balance ball in front of them. And one of them goes, mm, and he bounces the, the ball to the other guy, but then goes, mm, with his gut. And they're bouncing it back and forth with just their guts. This is like part of their training or something. So then Brutus does the bump, and the bump goes flying, and it hits Ivy right in the face. And he's like, oh, golly, I'm so sorry, because you know you don't want to mess with Ivy. And Ivy walks up to him, and she grabs him by the ear, and she cuts his promo on him. And then she, like, shoves him, and he he stumbles backwards. And you know those big, uh, they're like, um, I don't know if you actually hit him, but they're like the, the standing uh, punching bag, but it's in the shape of a human. He hits this thing and he prat falls right over that thing. It was the, I mean, it's like, why isn't this, why is this not on television? It was great. <laughs> I don't care if you hate Wool Wednesdays, DJ. This is important stuff. <laughs> Sorry you don't like NXT, but the rest of us do. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.